Hamlet, Mel Gibson. I don't, know, I don't even work with a foot pedal or anything, you know. It's amazing. <laughs> but I can, I can chop them off. Would you like me to chop them? This bird is oh. real. <laughs> yeah, I'll be yes, all right. Yes, of course he's yeah. real. I wouldn't work yeah. with an ostrich. Of, oh, it's only that he talks. That's the only yeah. reason I work Quite with right. him yeah. for yeah. 20 years. He's a rare find. He is a rare find. You're not into ostrich farming as well, by the way, are you? No, no. Uh, how'd you get him to take his head out of the sand? Um, well, it's I not easy. Hey, no. give out. Give oh, out down here, mate. Picking knee in case you're not aware of... This is my comedy writers, uh, Rush and Trev, have come up with a, a line. I've got a comedy writer now, Mr. Summers. I didn't know you had yes. a comedy writer. Did you know they are planning a sequel to Hamlet starring Richard Gere? No. You've got to say, what's it called, Gibbo? What's it, what's it called? It's called Hamster. Hamster. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, I, I don't know what I, it means. I wouldn't hang on to the right. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> uh, you've, been, uh, you've been working very, very hard all week, doing just about every show ever written. Yeah. Uh, or ever on in Australia, and yeah. are you tired so far? No, <laughs> <laughs> only a little. There he goes. Uh, we just showed, uh, as you're out the back, we showed the sword fighting sequence. Oh, yeah. Is I it hard, it. hard to get onto the weight of those swords? Well, the, the idea is to make it look heavy. I mean, you oh, can. They were really polystyrene, right? Absolutely, they were made of aluminium. Aluminium. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> same as you. So you can you make anything look heavy. I mean, that could be heavy. Yeah. Go on, do it. Do it. Do make out yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. thing. Yeah. Make it heavy. It? Make, make it heavy. Make it heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you learn that at night? Yeah. That's yeah, incredible, incredible stuff. Uh, what are you doing, Phil? You're making signs to. Oh, not to me. But you're trying to move Dicky. That can be hard. Certainly can. Yes. Just hang it around down here. Don't you worry about me. Over the over the week, people have tried to pry out of you, um, you know, family secrets and things like that. Yes. And the only one we could actually find is that your dad was on sale of the century years ago. Indeed he was. I don't know if we have a little freeze frame of your father. Uh, that's, your, that's your dad? That's wow. your dad. And how did he do? He looks like a bit of a ventriloquist puppet. <laughs> 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 no, well, the guy beside him was saying that. <laughs> uh, so that was sale of the century. Do? What year was that, by the way? 1980. 80. Gee, that's a long time ago. Did he win a lot? He won. He got the girl and the car and everything. Oh, <laughs> that's who was on in. It was 1980. Was that uh, Delvin Delaney? Definitely, the Delvin. Not sure. Yes, it was. Mm. Oh, he's a very lucky man. That. And your and your brother Don is also uh, acting too. Oh yeah, he likes to tap dance and he does bar mitzvahs, weddings and. Uh... But someone told me that because he looks like you, it's a bit of a downer. Like it's a uh, not not because I mean, you look terrific. You look terrific. But from from his point of view, he's trying to get an acting acting thing, and they say, oh, "I'm sorry, you look too much like uh, Mel Gibson." Well, he doesn't actually, but uh, apparently he's got the same sort of goofy mannerism. So. Uh -huh. Oh, and and yeah. the hair's uh, same colour or different? Well, no, the hair is neatly. It's, he's got a decent haircut. All right. <laughs> so, what's your next style going to be? Is it going to be next short? Style? Well, I thought I'd shave it. You know. Yeah. Oh no, I don't. I, well, I wouldn't do that. Why not? Listen, I always wanted to sort of put my head together with Telly Zavas and make an ass of myself. <laughs> 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 You heard it first on national television. <laughs> I got a million of them. You're going to hear Have more. Have you really? Hey, well, Gibbo. We've got yep. some. Gibbo. Down there. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I believe you've got six kids. Is that right? Uh, yes. Haven't you got a television or something? Now listen. Now stay out of this. Yeah, stay this out guy's of hilarious. This. Someone. I know that there are many. There are many women in the world who uh, who are craving to meet you. And yeah. we have one lady who, especially, who's a, a dear lady. Yeah. Uh, she's on the phone right now, and it'll ring. No, she's ringing any moment. Ring any moment. That's incredible. <laughs> That'll be, That'll be the phone. That, yeah, you yes, pick it up, it's right. for you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I've come over all queer, Mel. It's Mrs. McGillicuddy here. You can call me Gertrude. Hi, Gertie. Hi, I'm a big fan of yours. So's my son, Robert. He'd be on the phone. He's down the back crutching a couple of sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Mack is from Upper Come Back to West. It's yeah. up your way. Yeah, Upper yeah. Come Back to West. That's yeah. right. I, I, there I am there. That's Can you see me? She looks like she's had a comeuppance and up and come back to <laughs> Yes, yes. Well, she's in charge. You're still in charge of the boom gate, You're Mrs. still in charge of the boom gate. Only lost four semi-trailers this week. I'm a lot prettier than any of those semen towels, Mel. I'm yours. <laughs> right. I'm ready right. for you. Mrs. Mack, we I gave you the thrill. I want you. I'm hot for you. 
Mrs. Ma I should explain about Mrs. Mac. Mrs. Mac was, ah. was happily married. Yeah, she was happily was. married to, uh, I think it was... Uh, Bert. Bert, Bert McGillicuddy. Bert. He had a bullock dray and unfortunately it got out of control one day, Mel, and he got dragged off by the bullocks and I've never it's, seen him yeah, since. It's very sad for him. Nasty. Very sad, but... Um, Anyway, uh, he's free if you're interested. Now, listen, a, a lot of people have been asking you a lot of questions. We thought, well, let's let the public have their turn. So we thought we'd yeah. get you over here. Fire and away. Fire away. So just come on. We'll fire go right fire over fire to the audience. Get a chair for Mel. Yeah, we're going over to the audience now. We open this, it's an open floor, it's sort of like Donnie here. It is. <laughs> um, just throw me the hand mic there and uh, here we are. Well, well, here. Welcome to Mastermind. <laughs> Question, a lady up here. Yes. Does he take his children everywhere with him on your trip? Uh, you take your children? Kids? <laughs> <laughs> uh. If possible. Well, we're into it. Uh, into it now. Yes. Quick, another question. Another. Another quick. No. Another. Qu yes. Over here. Go for it. Mel, out of all the roles you've had, which would you say was the most enjoyable? Um, <laughs> I think I, I I got a kick out of playing that slightly screwy cop in the, in the Lethal Weapon. I think that, that was the most fun. Actually, while you're on Lethal Weapon, yeah. was that the, was it Lethal Weapon one or two, or both were fun? Both were terrific, and especially my uh, work with Daryl. I, I think you probably saw that. <laughs> I don't know whether we have that clip again. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, and you know I'm sending it off to, to Hollywood to the producers. Yeah. Listen, um, <laughs> while we were talking about Lethal Weapon, Lethal Weapon two, they actually gave you a camera. Is that correct? Indeed, and, yeah. And said, do whatever you want to do with it. That's it. That's the general idea. So you did stuff like I did a very probing behind the scenes kind of um, right. Thing, yeah. Oh, well, let's have a look at a bit of your probe. Oh, why not? <laughs> your probe. So, what do we have tonight? We've got ribs today. Ribs? Wow, this guy does really good oh, ribs. Man. What? Yeah, I'll be right there, Albert. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Oh, dear. I kept that lady, lady in the front row. You're Lovely sense of humour you I'm have. Sick dog. man. Happy <laughs> dogs are happier. How did you prepare for the role of Hamlet? How did you psych yourself up? Uh, well, I didn't psych myself up. It was uh, more a question of just like putting your nose in a book and uh, uh, and getting physically fit. You know, throwing away the cigarettes and and uh, being really fit so that you could actually go out and do a full day's work without collapsing halfway through. How did you find the language? Was it hard? Uh, no, not once you sort of understand it. Now, the, the tricky bit is making other, or hoping other people will understand it when you say it. <laughs> um, but th that's the trickiest. Uh, 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 yes, there's right. a lady in the second row over here. Oh, right. I'll save you the boot. She looks Sorry. more like a prop forward. <laughs> yes, Mel. Yes. How do you manage to stay so normal, sort of, with all your star status? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you're not over pretentious or um, you're not hyped up to the star symbol sort of. Good country stock, yeah. eh? That's it. <laughs> Except for the American accent I can hear creeping sedated, in. sedated, that's why. Creeping in, but that was always creeping in. Was it? Yeah, I was oh, born I over notice, there. I've noticed it tonight. I, I came from over there, so yes, that's... Yes, I realise, yeah. You, you can't ever erase it, but I'm not trying. It's, uh, no, but in your other movie, sort of... I've yeah, all right, don't go on about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, am I not doing a very good job of Donahue here? But Donahue would have cut you off. I'm sorry, madam. <laughs> now, the lovely lady over here, uh, you have a question for yes. me? Are you going into the schools here like you did in Los Angeles? I'd like to, um, but I, I... What form did you leave school? I didn't know you had... <laughs> Are you no, going back I teaching? Need, I need a re-education. Now, maybe I'll get that tape that I put through the schools. I think it might be interesting for school kids here to see uh, a school in West L.A., what that's like. So it might be interesting to, to do it that way. And they could probably learn things like, uh, once again, with that little home video you did in Lethal Weapon 2, yes. they could do learn things like you, uh, you're that's a good right. stone thrower, for instance. Have Absolute a look at this. Stone thrower. All right, stone thrower. Oh, nice house, like huh? Him. And then I'm gonna roll Watch this. Right here. So we need a clear path, no obstructions, no... I bet I can hit that house from here. Just so much. Out of As a matter of fact, Terry, yeah. anybody that's Yeah, 
that's uh, <laughs> proper to build a, a, a decent atmosphere. foundation at school. Um, look, we, we probably could take only one more question before we go. Mel's going to stick around. You going to do red faces for us later, Mel? Um, Not as an act, as a judge. All right. I'll, yeah, all right. Fine. I'll, well, I'll one, perhaps one more o- over this side. You, you just yeah, go for it. Uh, what was it like working for Goldie Horn? What was it like? Yeah. She's a delightful young woman. Right. Well, she's not so young anymore. But <laughs> she's, she's delightful. Yeah, she looks delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Okay, look, we'll we'll leave it there unless anyone's got a real quick one that we. Yeah, man in the front row. Uh, any more? Sh- oh, hang on, they got a real quick one over here. Or a quick ten. Yes, quick. Let's scream it out. Good. Are you going to do leave the weapon three? I don't know. That's a beautiful answer. What, Listen. Ra- uh, what do you think? What do you think I should? Yeah, yeah. I heard Oh, well, I have to do it then. I... <laughs> we don't have to do that scene off the top of the roof again, do we? I... No, but um, we're having, we've got a, a part for a human pull-through in the next one. And, uh... Oh, fabulous. Oh, I'll that? do anything. Hey, oh, okay. hey, hey, great. All right. Stick with us, Mel. I was Mel, thinking because... about the bird. Oh, oh, right. sorry. <laughs> Emu. All right. Awesome. We're gonna... We're going to have, uh, Mel's going to do uh, Red Face as a judge a little later and some other stuff. And Have you met Billy Joel, by the way? No, I haven't. Oh, would you oh, like yeah, to you meet him? You know what? I have, but he probably doesn't remember. Oh. I think he would. He's got all your albums. Oh, no, I said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll take a break. We're coming back later on with uh, more of this hilarity. Thanks, Mel Gibson. That's him, all right.